Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Emma Painting with Ruby Q, and today I have two Star Or um, post reviews. And here is the first one. I'm gonna do it on, and this is Stitch. And as you can see, it is very beautiful and very bright. So first off, I am going to mention that this is gonna be a really detailed. Um, post review because I want you guys to know everything what I liked what I didn't like because I want to be true to you guys okay so let's just look over the image real quick I know the glare I'm sorry it is nighttime here but it is very beautiful it is very um colorful all right so let's go over the Let's go over the cons first. So, this did have several bad drills. Um, I didn't even keep the trash. I don't. I think I just kind of. I had it in a little, um, a little tray, and then I just kind of forgot about it. Um, it did had some. It did have some bad drills, but I think it's normal when it comes to these kind of uh, kits, like the rhinestone kits. Um, one thing I didn't like either. And I'm just gonna say, you know, it's not gonna be perfect, but I didn't like that some of the drills were really like translucent. <laughs> and I know that doesn't make sense because, um, yeah, these, so like, look, these are rhinestones, but let's see. Okay, do you see, let me see if I could, I don't know if it'll show up on here. Like that one right there, this one. So you can see the silver back. That's what I mean by translucent, is that you can see the silver back. Um, let me see if I can find another one on here. And yes, my children are in the back, in the background. Okay, I have like, so there's one right there. So some of them, some of them had them. It's not a big deal, you know? But some of them did have a lot of the translucent ones where you can see a silver back. I had to like poke around um, to find the ones that, do that didn't have that. Um, I actually ran out of the black color and I only literally had this section left to do, like where the black lines are. Um, oops, what I do? The drill came off. Okay, so well, I wrote Lucy and she actually had to send me a brand new diamond painting, which I felt really bad about because she didn't have to do that. But I guess the warehouse that ships out her diamond paintings, they don't directly ship to Hawaii. So, <laughs> sorry guys. So she actually shipped it through Amazon to me and I got um, a brand new diamond painting. Um, so what I was going to do was I was actually going to give this to one of my subscribers in a giveaway, but then I thought, no, because I, it would have already been open. Um, and I just, you know, I'd rather give you guys something brand new, which I am later. And I'll talk about that soon. So anyway, um, let's talk about the, oh yeah. Also, I wish that this image was larger. It looks good for the size. Okay, it really does. It looks really good for the size. I believe that this is, don't quote me on this, 40 by 50? No, you know what? I don't even know, I have to check. Um, I will link the unboxing to this uh, diamond painting down in the description so that you guys have uh, a better information on it because this is just a post review. Okay, so um, I do wish it was a larger image just because I like working on larger images. Um, it says right here, oops, oops, that the drill area is oops, 30 by 45 centimeters. Um, I think that she had had her sister do one that was a lot larger. So I have noticed that some people say that they do, or they would like to try Star Wars, but their images are too small. So um, I would love to see larger images. Okay, so that's the cons, I guess. Um, pros is that, as you can see, it is super, super shimmery, super bright. I like that um, there are a lot of colors for 
the size of this. There are 28 colors. Um, I like that you can move around the drills because this is poured glue. So if I made a mistake, I'll just move the drill around. Um, the glue was okay. The glue was pretty good. Uh, one second, guys. Alright, I have Michael on my hip because <laughs> he wants to be a part of this post-review. Um, okay, so anyway. So yeah, the glue was pretty okay. Um, there, I, I don't want to say popping drills, but if I do um, move my hand around, they do come off. So, uh, it's not that the glue isn't sticky. It's, I think that these, the drills are just um, really close together. So yeah, um, I have to go through it with a roller. Um, when I seal this, I... I'm gonna have to go um, through it with a roller several times. Um, so you guys hear that? Okay, so one thing I will mention is that this is her older canvases. Um, this is her older packages. So, or not packages, kits. These are her older kits, this one, this particular one. So I think she did change some stuff around. So with that being said, let's move this over and let's look at the poppy. Okay. Whoops. Okay. So you can't really see the whole thing right now, but I'll show you it in a little bit. So as you can see, it is also very bright and I could definitely tell a difference between this one and Stitch. Now this one is a mixed drill, which by the way, I loved. Um, I really enjoyed working on this one. So let's talk about the pros with this one. Okay, so I like the that it was poured glue. I like that it's poured glue. Um, I like that it's a mixed drill diamond painting. Um, the size is absolutely great for this. Um, it says that the drill area is 35 by 47 centimeters. Um, I like the rendering of this like you see how in the background like you can see some red splotches and some hot pink right there and like it just kind of it just everything just goes and then you can see the stems I mean this was like absolutely beautiful and the way that she did this I mean like 100% <laughs> A plus guys um, let me see I did like that you could move the drills around easily so here are my cons. Um, if you accidentally got some of the wax stuck to the glue, like that wax, it would be, it was really hard to take it off. And even if you scraped it off, um, the drills would not stick. So it, they would like slide right off, like as if there were no glue. And that didn't happen with my stitch one. Um, another con is that if you misplaced a drill, the silver back would stick to the glue and it was really difficult to scratch it off and to stick uh, the corresponding drill to that particular area. Um, so yeah, that was, it happened to me several times. And then, I don't know if it's me, just bad luck, but I was at the end, like up here, up there. And I actually ran out of two colors, um, DMC 21 and 22. And I was upset, but I, I'm, I was glad that it was in a large area of it. It was just the very top up here and some of it, some of right here. This is actually supposed to be darker and somewhere around here too. So, you know, I mean, it still looks great. You would never tell, but you know, when you order things, you expect, like for what you pay for, you expect to get what you pay for. And you know, it's not a huge deal because Lucy's really sweet and if I were to tell her, hey, can you send me uh, drills, she would. But I didn't want to do that because I just wanted to finish it because it was only the top. Um, I didn't want her to go through the trouble of having to send me another kit again. So I knew 100% that she would totally um, help me because her customer service is amazing. She takes care of everything. If you have an issue, you go to her, she helps you. It's great. 
but it did catch me off guard when I was working on this and like I ran out of the colors and I was like what the hell so uh, yeah let's see okay so I'm gonna show you um, I'm gonna pan out and I'm gonna show you the picture so that you can see a better view because I know it's kind of you can't really see the whole thing okay so here it is it is super, super shiny. I really like how bright it is. Let's get a closer look at um, the drills real quick. So this one also had um, some translucent, see-through. What, baby? Okay, hold, hold on, guys. Okay, and I'm back. Okay, so this one also had some translucent, see-through rhinestones, but it wasn't as bad as the other one. So I did notice the changes. Um, another thing that I noticed was that, as you can see, it is very bright, but a lot of the, some of the drills were really dull. Like, they weren't sh as bright as the other ones. Sorry for the whiplash. So, like, for example, that one right there. Wait, where is it? Okay, this one right here. And you can't really tell through the camera, but, like, if you see the difference between that one and like say that one, this one's dull. So there was a lot like that. I had to work around them. Here are more translucent ones right here, um, right there, right there. But you know, when you pan out, you can't really tell. So it's not gonna be perfect, but those were a little bit of my, my problems. You know, I'm really OCD, so I kind of was like, ugh, here we go again, I gotta move around and, and um, Use the ones that are not dull, use the ones that are not translucent. And in the end, I had to use those because I would run out otherwise. So next, I'm going to show you the drills that were left for this one and the drills that were left for that one. Okay, so here are the drills for um, Stitch. And there was a lot left over except for, let me see, 25 I almost ran out of. So that one. Um, but the rest had enough. I wasn't worried about running out with the rest. Um, so 27, I actually had it in three of these bags. And this is the only color that I ran out of, which is the black color. Um, so yeah. So this was okay. Like I like um, how much I had left over. It was a good quantity. Um, like look at 18, 18 had a lot left over. Uh, next, I'm gonna show you the poppy drills that were left. Okay, so here are the drills that were left for the poppy diamond painting. And as you can see, there is a lot left over. Um, I like the amount that was left over. Here are the special drill ones. Um, as you can see, number 22 is missing. Uh, there's none left. I think I lost the back to the other one. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, so the other bag is missing. I think I just threw it away because there was nothing in it. So, um, this does have a good variety of colors. Um, this one had, let me see. So it had 23 colors and five of those were rhinestones. So yeah, at the end of the day, would I buy again from Star Ore? Most definitely because it is my number one favorite store right now. You know, it, every company is going to have its pros and cons and the pros uh, outweigh the cons in this situation. So yeah, definitely gonna be buying more of Lucy's diamond paintings, okay? So next up, I'm going to show you the diamond paintings that I am actually working on right now. All right, so this is not a post review on this. This is just showing you what I'm working on. Um, I do like working on multiple diamond paintings at once because I do get bored. And yeah, so I feel like when you work on Diamond paintings, you should take your time. You shouldn't rush through things. And that is why um, it takes me a while to get one done. It's because I'm working on multiple ones. So here is my Pikachu. Um, this is from Vanilla and Cinnamon. I believe that's what it's called. Um, Miss Crochet and Coffee. She's actually doing a round one for this. This is a 30 by 35 centimeter. And I don't know, what do you guys think? You guys think it looks good so far? I still have to do this side. There is a lot of bubbling. Oh, well, I guess it's not a 
not a um, <clears throat> mid review or anything, <laughs> but it's in my natural habitat as a diamond painter to tell you what's wrong with this. So yeah, anyway, there's a lot of bubbles and I have to pop them. All right, so um, on to the next one. Okay, so don't judge me. This one was supposed to be the second one I was working on for drills and chills. And as you can see, I have not finished it. This is by Who Can. And by the way, this one is really small. This is a 20 by 25. And I am not having, I didn't have any issues with popping drills right here. But let me show you the one that is giving me a hard time. All right, guys. So this is my Joker by Who Can. Um, so at first, it was going well. And then I started having some popping drills. I'm gonna say maybe about six. And I still kinda have them, but it's not as bad as when I first um, was working on it. I guess like the more I rolled it, the less popping I had. So, and it's weird because there's like gaps in between. It's not, I don't, I don't understand, but um, yeah. This is a really large one. This is a 50 by 70 centimeter. Um, it is very shimmery. I know I had said in one of my videos and on a live that Hulkin had fixed their popping drill problem, but it's weird because the small one that I'm working on, I'm not having any issues with it. But this one, for some reason, I was having issues with it. Um, like there's one right here. It's not that bad though. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so I just felt one. Where is it? Okay, so if I go like this, it's it doesn't, there's no popping drills at all. Oh, there it is, okay, see that? Okay, so, yeah. But one out of like this whole space is not that bad, right? Right, or am I in denial? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> but I'm still gonna work on this. I'm still working on this slowly but surely. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so, uh, this is the Evermoment mystery one that I started and as you can see it is so beautiful and I did use the um, special diamonds by um, I think diamond painting with sparklers uh, I think it's oh my gosh Timo on Instagram <laughs> I believe sorry if I got that wrong so yeah I used it for her eyelids and as you can see um, whoops what the heck is that is that a is that a drill? No, okay. So I used it for her eyeshadow and I also used it for her lips, as you can see on the bottom. Um, DMC 606, I believe, and I forgot what that one was. But this is my ever moment. I am taking my time with this one because I want to enjoy working on this. Um, I believe that I did this in like a week and a half. And then I started down here and then I got bored. <laughs> Because there was like so much blue. There's so much blue over here. But isn't it like this is beautiful, right? This is so beautiful. And this is actually a 50 by 75. Um, so one thing that I hate, okay. One thing that I am not liking. And like I said, I have OCD. So maybe I, it might not bother you. But these spaces right there. Like I, ugh, and I tried so hard. For there not to be spaces like that and you know in some areas there isn't but in a lot of the areas where her you can see her skin tone there is um, of course you can't really tell unless you're like your eyeballs are right next to it like right here but um, you can't see it from far away that much I think you only see it when you point it out but yeah so you know every moment is really good but like I said not every company is a hundred percent there's always gonna be that one thing. Um, so yeah, let's see. I'm thinking about what other ones are. I think that's it. But I am gonna show you the Rainy Day Boutique, what I have already uh, started. I did a little bit of it, not a lot, but I'll still show you it. Okay, so I know it's just a little bit, but I still wanted to show you guys um, what these drills look like. Um, yeah. These are freaking amazing guys. They are so faceted and like placing them is like a dream, okay? <laughs> it's so freaking awesome. Um, I cannot wait to complete this. I am also working on this one. So yeah, you guys will be seeing a lot of um, diamond paintings 
in my next few videos because I know I'm going to finish Pikachu soon. I will show you a kind of like a mid review for this one and um, Hula Can and my cat should be finished by then. So yeah, that is today's video guys. Please give it a thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. I'm always messing up. Please give it a thumbs up. Your, your toast is done. Okay, give me one second, okay? <laughs> okay, sorry guys. So give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you guys have a good night. See you guys. Bye.